With most applications, it makes sense to have at least one layout that all of our pages can use to keep things like the application wrapper, like the navigation bar, authentication state, and things of that sort, consistent and easy to implement throughout all of our pages. In our particular application here, we're going to be covering today how to add two different layouts. We're going to focus on an authentication layout for our auth pages and a default layout for everything else. So the first thing that we'll want to do is add our default layout. So let's go into our JS folder and add a layouts directory. And then let's just go ahead and add a default.view file. We'll add a template, we'll add a div, we'll add an H1, we'll keep this nice and simple. So we'll just say default layout, and then we'll add a slot so that the remainder of the page contents can be displayed. Now, your first notion might be to jump into each of your pages and import that file. So import default layout from layouts default.view, register that as a component, and then apply it to the page. Now, this approach will work. So if we jump into our page here, you can see default layouts now being rendered and displayed for our home page. It's not the best approach because now if we wanted to add this layout to our login page, we would need to go into our login page and do the same thing. So we would need to, since this is a setup script, import our default layout from layouts, default.view, and then apply that to this page. And we would need to do this for each and every page that we add within our application. So now within our login page, we have the default layout being shown, but we had to go through and manually add that. Additionally, if we switch between our pages, the layout itself is now going to need to be rendered two different times as we switch between those two different pages because it's unique to the actual page component itself. So it's included with the page content, and as we switch pages, it's going to be considered a new component that needs rendered. Instead, we can use Inertia's layout system to easily apply the layout above our page level for us. So we can switch the component here back to just a simple div element. We can keep the import, but let's go ahead and get rid of the component registration. And instead now what we can do is on our export default, we can add a layout property that is defined the actual layout component. And Inertia will read this layout property and apply the component that's provided there at the Inertia level. So you can see default layout is still being properly applied here, even though we are now defining it as just a layout property. The same approach works with the setup script. However, let's go ahead and switch these back to divs and let's talk about the caveat that we need to use to apply this. So we have a setup script here and you'll notice first and foremost that there is no export default. You might think a define expose might work here, but uh, that's actually not applicable in this use case. Instead, in order to define a layout for this particular page that's using the setup script, we need to add a second script within here that uses the export default and then define the layout that way. So here, let's go ahead and import default layout from layouts default.view and provide that here. If we give this a save, notice that we did switch this back to a div, head into our login page, you'll see that default layout is being applied properly here as well. Once more, I rebooted my dev tools here to get the uh, view showing up right. So we have our root, we have the inertia component, which swaps in and out our pages. We have the default layout and then being provided inside of there is our page. So you can see the kind of hierarchy inertia is rendering here whenever we do use that layout property. Now we can actually simplify this a little bit further by defining a default layout for all of our pages and then allowing individual pages like our login page to define that it should use a different layout than the default. So if we jump into our application here, first let's stop for a moment and talk about the benefit of this particular approach. So if your layout needs to accept props, sub layouts, or things of that nature, this approach allows you to do that using render functions here to alter the actual default layout at the page level. The approach that we're about to do won't allow that. Everything will instead be just defined at the application level. So bear that in mind. Okay, so let's jump into our app.js file here and let's alter our resolve component to check for the layout property. And if it's not provided, then we'll just add a default in there. So let's do const page equals require and then add a default onto the end of that to actually get the page component. We'll do a simple if check here. So if not page.layout, then we'll want to set it. So page.layout equals, and then let's go ahead and import our default layout here. Layouts default.view and apply it just like so. Lastly, our resolve component does need to actually return the page component back. So let's go ahead and apply that here. So let's jump back into our home component here where we will want to use that default layout and get rid of this default property altogether. And then we can also get rid of the import here as well. We can give this a save, jump back into our application, 
go back to our home page and you'll see the default layout is now still being applied because although we're not defining it on the page itself, we are defining it whenever we do resolve back that page component as a default layout. So as you can see, any page that we wanna use the default layout, we just leave the layout property off of the component itself. And any page that we want to manually define a different layout, we would then just import and define the layout property manually. So let's go ahead and add in our secondary layout. This will be for auth. And it's just gonna be very similar. Let's keep things nice and simple. H1, auth layout, and then add in our slot. Give that a save. We'll jump back into our login file, switch this to off, give that a save, jump back into our browser, go to the login page, and now you can see auth layout is being used. So anytime that you don't want to use the default, just provide the layout property and the component that you want that particular page to use.